Sasa sasa hiyo nani anakupea hiyo dark blue? Sasa I really miss doing this a day in life vlog guys we have a new a day in life vlog today and without further ado let's just get it started because we have a lot of things we're going to cook also just chill and do some exercises which I am loving let's just get it started guys <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hello guys, today is such a beautiful Sunday morning. I have just woken up. And to be honest, it's not that hot. Yesterday we had some, uh, we had cabbage and ugali, a cabbage and bread for dinner. And lately, that's what we've been having. I miss having some good food. And that's what I'm planning to do today. I'm just going to prepare some good food, guys. And I hope this will be a day in life vlog where I will be cooking. So we'll be doing some exercises. And just spending uh, rather a few part of the day with you guys welcome to this amazing channel yes indeed it's an amazing channel where we just share our real life situations our home style cooking cleaning and all those of motherhood vlogs guys in case you are new kindly follow me on instagram also where we just I just try as much to post on Instagram, even if it is once or twice a week. Guys, I love it uh, when I interact with you on the DMs, guys, in case you are there with a business partnership, guys, kindly reach me out and we'll just talk from there, guys. This is my Instagram handle. I'm just going to share it. My Instagram handle, kindly do follow me there. Yeah, for business partnership collaboration and what kinds of stuff guys just let, let's just get it started with this vlog and i hope and pray that everybody's okay anyways guys please before we even start this vlog kindly give me a thumbs up it really really supports our channel please guys hit that like button without forgetting please subscribe in case you are new in case you've just come you're just coming uh, across this face guys please subscribe yeah to our beautiful and amazing channel let's just get it started i came across these pads months ago almost six months down the line i've been using them guys number one they're so absorbent they are long reach pads guys they have the magnetic energy which helps you in um in removing like uh uti generally if you use these pads and maybe you are uh, you had uti they help you in you know getting rid of that they also help in absorbent so well they are so good with absorbing and in preventing cervical cancer they also help you in preventing uh prostate cancer you know you can just attach the green magnetic part to your hubby and definitely they not get that and guys definitely these pads you can find them on jumia and the ladies who walk around advertising them they are such a good try you need them for yourself even at least even if it is two months you buy another ones you interchange them with this even though they are a bit expensive they are just worth it hello hello guys welcome to my channel today is another beautiful day what is this what is this what is this damn it my kitchen is clean but there's a fly rotating go yeah anyway guys today is another beautiful day i was just chasing away a fly yesterday i did a lot especially here in the kitchen my kitchen is purpling clean apart from a few dishes hope you guys can see me apart from a few dishes that i have I'm just going to wash them right now before I cook. Today we are cooking. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just from outside and let me show you what I've gotten. I'm from getting some food 
I've gotten here some vegetables and some meat. Today we're making some chicken for lunch. And by the way, I went with Isco. And when we came in on the ground floor, there were kids playing their, their uh, there were kids playing football. And so I never realized that Isco can take his ball and go downstairs. Well, see, today we've just entered the house and I was busy looking for the kid inside the bedroom. I was like wondering where Isco has gone. Kumbe Isco has entered the house. He has saw, he had seen some kids playing outside. He has taken his ball and then he has gone to play with them. I am happy. I'm today, today that has just made my day. Looking at my son taking his ball and going outside to play is something I can't even explain. You know, he is becoming so big. He's only two years. He's two years, two months. You guys, I am so excited. Like, oh my God. Who even could say that? One day, school will be going to play with big kids. And them here. Although this thing looks dirty. But anyway, I will still wash the nini. so much excited about myself right now my legs are not aching that much they have improved like generally they have improved so so much and this is because I've been doing exercises guys I'm not recommending for you to to start treating yourself but I would rather prefer if you go to hospital first in case your legs are aching I'm doing this specifically for one of my aunties my aunties has been like two months ago, she contacted me and she told me her legs were aching, even before mine started aching. It was a surprise for me. It was really a surprise. In fact, I generally laughed because I never understood how your heels could ache. And she was like, buy me these kinds of shoes. And, uh, and it was just something that I never expected from her. Ever since her heels started aching, she has been on treatment on and off, on and off. And it has persisted for quite some time. She has even had the injections on her heels. Sometimes they usually say like it, there are different kinds of heel pain. It might be calcium deposit that is caniclone. I don't know what, but there are several types of illnesses. And some of them, they even go so serious until you need surgery. So for me, uh, generally when I started the heel ache, I researched a lot on that and since I was busy during that time I couldn't go to hospital. I've been busy for that for a couple of days, almost two weeks but so anyway what I'm trying to say is that I've not gone to hospital but I went ahead and started doing exercises and these exercises have greatly improved my leg. Mine was kind of plantar. I, I, can't, I can't be sure if it was plantar fasciitis or even other diseases that come on the hill there is there is another one that i'll place the name there and generally the other one might require surgery but who would wish to have surgery on her legs definitely i believe nobody uh, can intentionally want surgery for him or herself but anyway if you have those kinds of illnesses or even pains on your heels you can definitely try to do some exercises because even though uh, they need treatment and everything like that, exercises are what makes your legs stronger and exercises can eventually lead to, you know, to releasing the relief, to giving you the relief. Exercise is just generally as important as treatment. If It is even better than treatment because the more you exercise your legs, they become stronger and stronger. And all those illnesses include exercise. All those Ill illnesses are betterly treated by exercises. Although my auntie has been suffering for long, she has never come across, you know, she has never been told anywhere whatsoever to do exercises. She was, so, uh, uh, like two to three days, even right now as I'm talking, she has been requesting me to show her how I've been doing, dealing the, with the exercises, how I've been doing the exercises. And guys, I uh, want to create this, a small video for her so that she will know how to handle this heel, heel pain, the kind of exercises that are required. And generally, guys, I'm talking out of my own experience. I realized that before my, my heel started aching, I had a problem with my calves. My calves were a bit tighter. And when I started dealing with the calves and making them a little bit easier for me, uh, they have 
tended they have they have really improved and they have made my my heel like stop aching at times they even don't ache and i forget i even step down and there were times that i i could look at the floors and start crying because i can't believe my legs will be touching the the floors it was oh my god guy if if at all i tell you how painful they were hey they were so painful i was i was imagining the fact that at times i can't step down and i have forgotten the pain and right now i can step but i'm i'm trying as much as i can to wear comfortable shoes number one wearing comfortable shoes is the most important thing make sure that your shoes are not hard like their soles they they should have inner sole as much as possible so that they can help you help you in supporting your heel and you know they don't want to be squeezed as much because you want to release the the tension on the heel make sure you are you at least putting your energy on the toes instead of putting the energy on the on the heel that has really really helped me i was looking for shoes that have rubber this this kind of shoes these ones are second thrifted shoes and they have rubber like even when i squeeze like this they are going inside and outside this one has been really 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 of help to me i have another one like this one but the sole but the sole are not rubber this one is rubber like you can just tell when i'm just doing like this it's rubber and the inner sole also is okay i've been using this ones to walk around number two wear at least shoes that have wedge if if your shoes has wedge it will really really improve because you will tend to put the energy on on the heels you will release the energy on the heels and at least the most of your weight will be going on the front and that will greatly greatly help number three what i've been doing making sure that i massage my feet i massage like i massage i literally massage the, the what is it called the planter I, I massage the planter that is the fascia tissues that are on your legs you massage them so that even when when you're doing the exercises your 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 nerves or not not only your nerves but your 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 fascia tissues are a bit loose they are you have released the tension inside them and they are they can be flexible enough M massage your feet before even you do the exercise number three generally just do the exercises most of the time you can do them at twice a day as a beginner and maybe as three times i've been doing this for five days and i talk like an expert because guys i have done it i have researched i have researched every day i put on youtube the only thing i am watching on youtube is just about plant i'm just watching about how 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 my legs i'm going to treat them and basically guys i'm not even uh, i'm not even here to lie i'm not even going to hospital unless I have done I'm going to do these exercises for like two weeks because this is my first week I have done it and it has worked. That one I cannot like exercises have greatly improved. When I realized the problem was started in my calves, I started dealing with exercises on my calves. I bet I have talked enough and let's just go to what I've been doing. The exercises that have really helped me. Mami and a woman a plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. <laughs> Allow me to introduce one of my fellow YouTubers. Her name is Kalex family here on youtube she does home uh, she does cooking cleaning and also some some special recipes that i just fell in love with oh, go, oh gosh she has another smoothie that you guys i feel like everybody should try out all those that she prepares i love her cooking videos guys please let's go and sub support her and before anything else let's just check her out oh my goodness i love her content Hey, what's up, beautiful people? My name is Karen, but I go by the name Kalex Family on YouTube. And my channel is all about cleaning, cooking, trying out new recipes, healthy drinks, lifestyle, self-care. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. And uh, let's spread positivity. It's all about positive vibes in here. Thank you, guys, and join the family. Guys, on the comment section, I'll be linking Kalex Family YouTube channel. Guys, please go support a girl. We really, really need your support here on YouTube. We believe that support one another really, really does make a great impact. I'll massage this foot for quite some time. I'll put pressure in it so that, you know, the tissues become loose. 
if you can't do this way you just look for a, a ball that is the tennis ball the tennis ball uh, is even better because it ha it has like rubber and that will help you in in massaging your feet This is the first exercise I will do on my foot. I'll just take my feet like this and start stretching them out. You stretch like this for 10 seconds, you release it, and then 10 seconds. This cover me. Generally, you just stretch your feet and just stretch them for quite some time. At least 10 seconds, you hold it. Maybe three times for 10 seconds each. That's a, a good, a fair beginner. You're not serious. Now maybe you can stop Kupika, imagine. Hmm? I don't So, I do So, I do So, I do I feel. I'm going to pick your answer. Pick your answer. I've had to stop exercising first and just focus on what's important. The most important thing is that we are hungry right now and I have food already as I bought it earlier. Guys, I'm starting by washing my chicken. I'm removing the pieces of, you know, the, uh, the bad bad stuff. Then I will just wash it well until the chicken looks like this. I'm just going ahead to rinse it for the second time until it runs clear. I love when my chicken doesn't have blood on it. That's just it. When I tell you this is the best recipe you can use for your chicken, I'm not even kidding, guys. I love chicken. I have tried all the recipes that they are. Oh my goodness, I have boiled, fried. I have used spices. I have not used spices. I have different recipes that I've tried, but this is my favorite recipe, guys. Number one, you need like onions, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, black pepper, and your fire definitely and your chicken guys that one with that one will make a very very good uh, seasoning for your chicken i'm just starting by bl uh, by you can blend but you can also grate or cut into small pieces that depends with what you like i'm going ahead to to grate my ingredients and then i will show you as i'm adding Him is a genuine person <laughs>
So here comes my blend. I am using a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic and uh, grated onions. Guys, that one will just boost the flavor. I'm adding also soy sauce, black pepper, and you'll also see me adding some salt. And that will be it, guys. Final. I am adding nothing more, nothing less, and the flavor turned out so, so yummy. I usually start by boiling my chicken until the meat cooks and then I will later fry it. When our chicken is completely cooked, I am just going to put it on the pan, add some oil, let it fry and become dry. That is when I know my chicken is done, guys. If I don't dry it out, if I don't fry it, I don't love the texture. So I end up, you know, like, mm, mm. and then if I just fry it, you guys, I will eat my chicken and enjoy it. Yeah, that's just me. That's basically what I do and how I love enjoying my chicken. You can also try this if you want now to add tomatoes, you can go ahead. But you guys, if you want to feel the real taste of the chicken and not, you know, sometimes uh, broiler chicken ends up, you know, making you feel like you don't want chicken. If it is not fried, guys, I'm telling you, you will not enjoy it. So please try this and you will love it. You will definitely love it. And excuse me adding some much oil because I want also to fry some greens. And by the way, I usually start by steaming out. If it is michiri or that is French beans, I will start by steaming them out with a little bit of water or maybe some soup. Like in my case, I had a little bit of chicken broth. I steamed it with it. And later, I'll just fry it in the same oil that I'm frying the same chicken. And the same chicken is what we will use to eat. Like, generally, that's the same thing. We are eating the whole of this food, so it doesn't matter if I use that oil instead. That is me. That's generally how I make it. And they turned out so, so good, guys. Let's, oh, my goodness. Just give it some time and let me... You know, I'm going to see you when I'm eating, guys. When I'm eating, you guys, you will just see how yummy it was. Especially the chicken. Way. I'm salivating as I'm editing this video, y'all. I love when my chicken is fried.
then then I don't know why this plant is here. Budget na cucumber ni different. But the same. Yangu ni mingi. Hey, Jesus Christ. Tinaribika. Unajaribu jure mbaka mbaka. Ni malizo kula. Kukunyo tu waini ya umeunda. Apo njagwe na tante. Ningine ya wapi. Nazi. What a baby, you make us play next year. A time like this, I forgot to mention that you could say, and now I'm a poor Cindy. I've been in a condo here because you've been selling me to that thing. I don't know. I told you, you can play it. Kitchen pair me, I'm really good. My glasses need to fold. You know what? You are ending my calculate the extreme. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out. Haven't seen you in season. But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down But I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting down I know I'm not always strong 